Who would have thought that the world's biggest battery would be powered by nearly 1 million solar panels and that that location of this enormous solar farm and battery would be in Saudi Arabia. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Now, this is a really interesting development that we're seeing. This mega project, which will, it will actually power an entire city. And it's being built in Saudi Arabia, home to the world's largest oil deposit. Now, interestingly, the king princes and all those high up people in Saudi Arabia are saying that the future of the world's energy is in fact electric. It's electric cars and renewable energy. And they've even invested billions of dollars into electric car company Lucid. So why is Saudi Arabia doing this? Well, it's actually not even Saudi Arabia. It's sort of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has successfully completed the installation of 750,000 solar panels, the first of what's said to be more than a million, which will be part of the first phase of the luxury Red Sea project, said Arab News. Now, like I said, this is just the first phase. The panels will feed into five solar power stations that aim to deliver 100% grid independence to this luxury boutique city. The Red Sea Project is the brainchild of Red Sea Global, a company owned by the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia with an aim to develop an environment-friendly tourist destination. It is one of the giga plans launched by the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman alongside the NEOM project that Interesting Engineering has talked about on their website. I'll put a link in the description if you want to read more about that project. Now, the NEOM project is a ski resort and it's intended to be the city of the future. It's not a standalone project. It's called The Line and it's one of many components of a project called NEOM. It's part of Vision 2030 for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and the project aims for a new way of thinking that will take the oil producing country away from its hydrocarbon dependent economy to a new way of life powered by renewable energy. The whole idea for Saudi Arabia is it wants to become the biggest tourist destination in the world. So it's building out these mega resorts that are powered only by renewable energy. Now, of course, one of the big advantages for Saudi Arabia is it has a monstrous amount of sun. It's got enough sun to easily power its entire population just with solar panels. Through these projects that Saudi Arabia is building out, it's wanting to establish itself as a mega hub for tourism and business and as a country that can work with renewable energy sources. With vast amounts of dry and arid sunny regions, Saudi Arabia can rely completely eventually it thinks on solar power and the Red Sea project is a testament to what can be achieved through solar power alone. Now, of course, it needs battery storage as well, which is why it's building the world's biggest battery. Announced in July 2017, the Red Sea project is a property mega project located on the western coast of Saudi Arabia. Scheduled to be operational by 2030, the project will host 50 resorts with 8,000 rooms and over 1,000 residential buildings. These are spread across 22 islands and six inland seas. The project's first phase includes 16 hotels and retail and entertainment venues, and it will be powered entirely through solar energy generated through the 750,000 panels installed so far. However, they plan to install more panels, in fact, it's likely that number will get to over 1 million, possibly even 1.5 million eventually. One of the solar stations is located near the Six Senses Southern Dunes. The Red Sea Resort and Spa, which will gain the distinction of being the first facility in the project to be fully solar powered. What about the world's largest battery? Here's what we know. Since the panels cannot generate power, the solar of course, can't generate power at night, although some people say there are solar panels that can do that. The project also considers installing the world's largest battery-based energy storage solution, which it is going to do. The facility is, is expected to have a storage capacity of 1,200 megawatt hours to deliver grid independence for this mega project. 
The facilities and even transportation for tourists right from the time they land at the international airport to movements between different project locations will be powered only by solar energy. In other words, all the electric cars, buses, everything will be powered solely by solar. The Red Sea project is an essential milestone for Saudi Arabia as it aims for net zero emissions by 2060. Interesting engineering says that when operational, it will serve as an example for other countries and demonstrate that mega projects can be entirely driven by renewables and independent completely of fossil fuel powered grids. This marks a transition for Saudi Arabia, which has historically relied on oil for its economy. It is now looking at other avenues and leveraging its geographic location to serve as a business and tourism hub. And it, it is basically saying, you know what? Even though we sell oil, it's our primary means of revenue. It's created rivers, literal rivers of gold for Saudi Arabia. Yeah, not literal, but you know what I mean. Even then, we're going to power our cars with electricity. Uh, so it's sort of um, admitting to the fact that the future of global energy is renewable energy and electric cars. I really like that vision. So kudos to Saudi Arabia. I really think they're headed in the right direction. This is an amazing project and a really interesting way to show the world that yes, basically entire cities can run on solar power and batteries. Keep in mind, the majority of the world's population lives on the sun belt, which receives sun more than 80% of the year. 